Welcome to this video on Google Vault Matters. Now you've probably already watched the video on retention rules. What a matter is, is a more specific rule that you've set up because you need to go fetch certain data. Normally what you'll do is you'll get a request from HR or from whatever department saying, hey, we need access to these emails. You need to go pull them for us because we need to look through them for something. Um, and so however you set up those requests, that's up to you. Whoever has access to make requests, that's up to you. I'm just going to show you really quickly how to start a matter and how to work within matters in Google Vault. So let's take a look now. Here we are in Gmail. I'm just going to go find Vault again. And I've opened up Vault. So you can see I'm already on matters, but let's expand it. Here's my matters. These are matters that I've opened and I'm currently working in. These are matters that have been shared with me by another user who has access to Vault. So currently I'm the only one using Vault in this domain. Uh, so no matters have been shared with me. But if they have been shared with you, you're able to export that data or modify the matter uh, accordingly. Here's our closed matters. These are matters that you got the information you needed and you closed it, but you don't necessarily need to get rid of it in case you want to go back and look at it later. And here are matters that you didn't need for whatever reason, you didn't end up using the data. You can go ahead and put that in the trash. Uh, and if you need to later, you can come back and, and recover it and put it to close and, and reopen it if that's what you need to do. So let's create a matter and check out our Boolean structure to see what we can do with it. So I'm going to create a matter. I'm going to say Lisa. And I'm not going to add a description, but you're going to want to add descriptions for these matters. Um, good practice is who made the request and kind of the basics of what they're looking for. So if you're looking for a keyword or uh, the time frame that the matter is pulling from, uh, that's a good thing to put in the description. So my matter's name is Lisa. I'm going to create the new matter. And here we are. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is you can create a hold, you can search export or audit within the matter itself. So I'm going to go ahead and create a hold. And I'm going to say Lisa test. And where do you want to apply the hold? I'm going to do mail, but as you can see drive groups and hangout chat are also available. Users. I want to do the accounts, a specific account instead of an organizational unit. And I want to say Lisa. And you can see here populated for me, so I'm just going to click on that. Okay, and the request that I got is saying, hey, everything from July 1st to the 30th, excuse me, June 1st to the 30th, once I've set the date range that I want to be working within, uh, I can now set the terms. And for our terms, there are lots of options. In fact, if you click on this little explanation mark, it'll bring you to this page where you can see all of the options. So you have your Boolean operators right here, but you also have from the account that the message was sent to, all sorts of things you can do uh, label, you can set search by attachment, attachment size, file name, or you can just say if it contains these words. So I'm just going to do a really simple search and I'm going to say test. And so this is going to say anything between June 1st and June 30th um, from or to Lisa that contains test is going to be on hold. And that's going to be stored in Vault separately. Uh, so that you can always access it until this is deleted. So let's see, let's go ahead and search. And this is an easy way to see if your help hold is getting the data you want. So I'm going to say, all right, here we are in our matter. The, the matter is Lisa up here. We're searching mail, held data, specific accounts. Let's do Lisa. And then I'm not going to put in the sent date. Um, you can always run count first to see how many emails are going to be pulled into this and we're counting four um, but there's only one account that matches this exact so there's four that have tests in them but only one matches this specific uh, query 
So let's go ahead and we don't want to export it right now. Let's just search it and see what it is. So we're searching it. Okay. Here we are. Here's our email thread. And you can always show details and see exactly. So drafts were deleted, that sort of thing. But this was me testing out Google confidential mode earlier. So there we go. Um, and then you can save the query and export the results. Uh, if you save a query because you found some good information, uh, and you can show it to other people. Uh, or you can export the results and give that to whoever made the request. Uh, to share is always easy in Google. So what we have to do is come up to the top right and hit share. And then I'm going to say send email notification, recommended, send a copy to myself. No, I don't need to. But this will share it with Mark. So when he goes into his matters, he'll see shared with me and he'll see the Lisa matter that I created. And then within it, you can audit to see when it was created and who is searching this stuff within Vault. Uh, and it uses the same functions and then you can download it as a CSV. So that's how holds work. Remember, if you have a hold set, uh, that is always going to take precedence. So if data was supposed to be de deleted after 10 days and your hold is placed to keep that data for ever or as long as that hold's still on, that data won't get deleted with the default 10 day. Uh, with searches, it's a great way to make sure you're holding the data that you want to hold and make sure you're capturing everything you want to capture. And then uh, you can search and edit your holds by coming back in here and saying, okay, I want to make sure I have everything. Let's edit the hold and let's exclude. Anything uppercase. Uh, so for anyone who is in Vault frequently, I would highly recommend taking a look at this page here and seeing some of the different things you can do. I don't want to go over them all right now, but there's a lot of functionality and you can get really precise hold results and search results out of Vault uh, as long as you know what you're doing. So I'll put a link of this in the description so that you guys can see um, exactly what you need to see. Hope you learned something. Thanks.